Hello, I'm Chris Kelly, Applications Engineer with the GEMS IST. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate making a coexistence test measurement using one of the methods described in ANSI C6327 document. Coexistence test is unlike EMI and EMC, other tests you might be familiar with, because it's testing the capability of a device to operate in a mixed signal environment, such as is seen on the ISM bands. A uh, device uh, un being tested needs to be able to cope with other dissimilar protocols using the same radio frequencies. So in this congested RF environment, especially since we're expecting billions of IoT devices in the next few years, uh, Zigbee, microwave, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth are all on the 2.4 gig band as an example. Uh, your device is going to have to cope with that and be able to operate in that hostile environment. Healthcare is probably ground zero for this kind of a test because the medical situation, healthcare, is highly regulated. You have patients uh, at risk if things don't operate. And the FDA, for example, Ofcom, FCC, have regulations that are coming into effect. So C63, the ANSI committee, C6327, has defined a methodology for testing the ability of a device to operate in a congested radio environment. That's the demonstration we're going to be showing today. So now we'll have a look at one of the test setups for coexistence. There are four defined that you've probably seen in a previous video. This particular setup is called the coaxial setup because it's entirely within the coaxial cable. Every test setup needs to have, uh, besides the DUT, a monitoring device to measure the spectrum during the test. The coexistence metric is called the functional wireless performance, and that's defined by the tester. So when, for example, we're using an infusion device in a medical uh, device manufacturer, that functional wireless performance might mean that my infusion device needs to report back once a minute. If it doesn't report back every minute, an alarm is going to go off. And you'll probably find the early customers for this will be medical customers because it's so regulated. There is so much risk, the FDA is paying a lot of attention, and it really matters if that device operates. However, of course, with the IoT going to billions of devices, any frequency band and any industrial, medical, or other application could need coexistence test. The uh, monitoring device we're using here is the MXA, which is the N9020A. I need to point out that it has to have RTSA, real-time spectrum analysis because these digital signals are so fast that a swept spectrum analyzer will not see them and cannot properly document the test. Some form of monitor is required by the C6327 test protocol. The functional wireless performance in our case is going to be whether we can stream music continuously from a Bluetooth speaker, uh, from a Bluetooth range extender to a Bluetooth speaker without interference. We're going to look for streaming music without dropouts. Our interfering signal is going to be a wireless LAN signal generated by the N5182 MXG uh, signal generator. So together, the signal generator, the, um, the uh, MXA, the MXG, and the test rig is going to show us uh, how tolerant our device is of interfering signals. We'll now look at a test demonstration using a Bluetooth wireless speaker which has been placed into a shield box and uh, this keeps stray signals out of, the, out of the test. This is being driven by a Bluetooth wireless extender and we'll be streaming music across. The functional wireless performance again is can we stream music without interruption in the presence of an interfering signal. The MXA will be demonstrating the uh, wireless signals live and we'll see the wireless LAN signal come up and listen to the sound from the uh, speaker when that inter interfering signal is introduced. So we're hearing the music now and what we see on the MXA is the Bluetooth signal skipping around. I'll now introduce an interfering signal of wireless LAN and we can hear interruptions begin.
So that's an example of coexistence test where the interfering signal at a certain amplitude was able to disrupt the functional wireless performance of our DUT. Using the MXA and the MXG, this test can be performed under multiple ways and is useful on any RF device that's operating in a mixed RF environment. Thanks for watching.